Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel! And we'll be painting a landscape today. It's not a landscape, it's a water lily pond. And yeah, I think many have been requesting me to do this. So we'll do it now. <laughs> and by the way guys, thank you so much for those who watch my latest uh, video. Um, I normally do painting tutorials, but yesterday I decided to tour around my studio. It's not a studio, but uh, the place where I store my painting and showed you how I store my paintings. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching that video. And today uh, we're going to well, go back to our tutorial videos and again, We'll be doing some water lilies today <laughs> okay guys so let's begin now and let me tell you the colors that we'll be using for today's painting okay we'll be doing a lot of greens today so number one we have titanium white oxide green cad yellow burnt sienna cerulean blue and black we'll be doing or we'll be getting some pinks later but we'll just do it later because i don't want the paints to dry because We'll be doing the flower last, so okay, let's begin now, guys. Okay, actually, I've sketched my subject already, but it's quite a pretty useless sketch because I'll be painting over it. Mm, if there's one important thing about sketching it, even if I'm gonna paint over it, um, I've already determined whether the subject will fit in my canvas <laughs> okay so let's begin now guys and you know when you sketch something you kind of remember where you put things even if you paint it over it so yeah it's a study anyway okay let me use my black first again guys as usual under painting first so i'm just gonna use my black I'm actually using canvas paper for oil painting. Because this paper also arrived from Seoul. Um, as most of you already know, my paintings have arrived, including my art materials from Seoul and I discovered that I have canvas paper that haven't been used, so I'm just using it for tutorials. Okay. I'm just gonna paint under paint black. different feel as you already know I'm always used to stretch canvases but this is not the first time that I'll be doing this on canvas paper so I already got the hang of it So I'm going to um, apply another layer of black paint just for it to be quite solid. Okay, Just for it to be quite solid because um, again, it's a different feel when you paint on a stretch canvas and when you paint on canvas papers to me it feels different okay just to keep it solid before we do the lily pads okay like that 
Okay, I can wash my brush out now. Okay, actually, you don't need to wash it so well because the water reflections will have some black, uh, black, black, I mean, um, hints uh, to it. So I'm just gonna get my cerulean blue and I'm just gonna allow the black or the remaining black paint to mix with the cerulean blue color. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of white like this color, it's like dirty sky blue. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna color the this part. So yeah, I can tell that my sketch are gone. But anyway, the benefit will be, I'll be teaching you how to sketch it freehand. So just move your brush horizontally so because we're creating waters again when we create waters most of the brush strokes in creating waters are horizontal when applied actually I'm watering it down now I'm watering it down for some reason because this is just the underpainting so I'm not really worried about um, not getting so much paints for now and I'm adding some black color to the cerulean blue okay add some more black to, to cerulean blue maybe add white also I'm just gonna adjust because I, <laughs> mm, oh my gosh okay I'm just gonna get my <laughs> all right so I actually <laughs> It's all right, guys. <laughs> Everything is under control. All right. So, give me that. Okay, if you really want this part of the painting to be more solid, you can apply another layer of paint and I think I will but this time I'll be adding more white mixture to my cerulean blue like that I'm just gonna go uh, this is quite light but it's alright okay I'm just gonna apply the lighter version up here and blend guys blend And then yeah I like it then here I'm gonna add more black this time remember to blend guys remember to blend I'm watering down my black so that um, I have a smooth application You know, the first time I painted on my canvas paper, it felt so uncomfortable. But now that I'm so used to it, um, it doesn't, it, it does not give me a hard time anymore. So it only takes practice for us to get used to something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Does not give me a hard time anymore. All right. <laughs> okay, for now, it's gonna be like that. We're gonna allow it to dry. Maybe I'm gonna add some more black here. Okay, we're gonna allow it to dry, 
but since I'm using canvas paper, paints um, dry quite quickly when I'm using canvas paper. I don't know about your canvas paper, but I've noticed that when I'm using this paper, um, yeah, my paints quite, I mean, my paints dry quite fast, which I like, to be honest. Some people don't like it when their paints dry quickly, but me, I like it because I can layer already. Sometimes I don't like it to dry so fast. Not so fast that I won't be able to, to blend. I only need a few seconds to blend, guys. I don't need an hour for blending. Okay, like that. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and sketch back my lost sketch here. So I'm just gonna go and get my, my brush, okay? Let's proceed already with uh, paints, not any more pencil. I don't wanna waste any more time. So I'm just gonna get my green oxide. This is just for sketching, guys. You can use your pencil too, but me, I just want to go and proceed with the paints already. Just for sketching, even for sketching. So I'm just going to get my green oxide now and try to put them back. So I'm just going to make... You know what I really like about lily pads? They shape like hearts. I love hearts, guys. They are shaped like hearts, so yeah, like that. Okay, I'm just gonna color it right away so that, yeah. We're not doing full details yet, but just not to, you know, just to use the paint that's already on my brush, like that. Okay, again, get your green oxide now. We're just sketching, guys. Don't worry about it. Okay, this painting also involves some perspective because we're viewing it in an angle that the lily pads look flat in the water and not like uh, hanging on a wall, if that makes sense. They should be looking like in the water. Is that in the water or on the water? <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna color it straight, you know, mm, just for me to identify already the leaves, I mean the lily pads, okay, like that. Okay, I'm gonna create more leaves now, again, get your oxide green or green oxide. You know what? I really love lily pads, guys. I love lily pads because they remind me of my trip to Monet's house. I went to Monet's garden when I was in Paris last year. It's not in Paris. It's in Giverny, as you already know, as most of you already know. I went there and I actually saw Monet's um, um, pond. It was amazing, guys. And I actually have a painting. I did a painting of Monet's garden. Uh, I did last year and I remade that uh, this year. I think some of you already saw that on my Facebook. Well, anyway, I'm just gonna make another uh, 
I mean, some more leaves, guys, so you can um, see how we're gonna play with perspective. It's like more leaves, more fun <laughs> for me. Okay. I really like it. It's it's really like hearts, you know. I love I love it. It's it's like hearts. Okay, and then I'm just gonna continue coloring it. Coloring it already. It's like underpainting it already uh, while I'm still there before I proceed to painting the next leaf. I might as well underpaint that inside of the leaf so that we won't waste time you know all right okay like that so it's underpainted now let's make some more let's make some more guys it's actually fun um i feel like uh, it's very therapeutic in a way yeah i don't know if you feel that but when I'm painting something repetitive, it's really um, like a therapy or meditating for me. <laughs> okay, like that. Okay, all right, like that. So I'm gonna underpaint that as well. Okay, <laughs> let's do more, guys. <laughs> this is quite addictive. Addicting. Addicting? Addictive. <laughs> okay. Yes, I like it. Alright, this is gonna. I I keep on fixing my canvas because it moves. I don't want to tape it. I know some of you will suggest for me to tape it and all that. I don't want to tape it, guys, because I'm actually working on a canvas over a canvas. So it's it's like a pad paper. I don't want to tape it, guys. Even if, you know, some of you will suggest. <laughs> okay next pad i mean next lily pad here just to balance things by the way guys i'm learning to play the guitar now um i started learning i mean studying how to play guitar or the guitar um like years back uh, when I was still in Seoul, but then um, kind of lost, I kind of lost interest somehow because I, I don't know what happened, but well, I just lost interest. Let's just say it's just like that because you know, when you really like something, you're going to go for it, right? I don't want to make excuses anymore. I hate that. So... Let's just say that um, I did not pursue it, but yesterday I held on to my guitar again and it felt so good, guys. Just a, still, just a little story. <laughs> okay, let's do now our upper or our farther leaf up, up here. I'm not saying upper because perspective wise, it means farther it's not upper upper referring to height farther refer, uh, referring to distance i know you know that <laughs> i know you know that why am i even saying it okay 
So we're going to make farther leaves, I mean lily pads. Okay, again, just paint over the black paints here. Uh, all right. And this is just the underpainting. This is not the actual color, guys. We'll be using a lot of browns and yellows later just for it to make look natural. For now, we're just actually shaping the subject. It's like molding them, no? Oops. So it. And we will have a flower here. We will have a lily, um, uh, what do you call that? Lily pad flower. Keep, create, keep doing this guys and we'll be doing the detailing later just be patient okay actually um, this stage of the painting when you finish this will make you feel like um, you've done the bulk of the paint, the job. You know that? Because again, by underpainting it, by blocking it, we're actually doing the bulk of the subject because details, um, they're more hmm, satisfying to do. This one is the real job for me. Detailing is the most fun or the more fun job for me. So just get this done and we'll do the fun part a fun part later. I don't know if detailing is fun is fun to you guys, but it is to me. I feel like I'm bringing my painting to life. That's it. That's why I feel happy when I do details. It's not super detailed, especially when we're doing nature. It's more of a suggestion, but um, we still have that goal of making it appear like lifelike, okay? Let me check if we're still recording, okay? So we've done the bulk of our lily pad pond. And now we're going to go and do the details, guys. So you may or may not wash your brush out because we'll be, we'll be doing some yellows and blacks. Okay, but now just get your black, guys. I think I already ran out of black, so I'm just going to get my black now. Where's my black? Okay, so I'm just gonna get my black because I ran out of it already. Okay, I'm gonna get my black now. And make sure it's quite fluid so that it will be easier for you to apply. And I'm just gonna go around the lily pad to make some shadows, guys. Like that. Again, here. Just go under or just below the line 
where your lily pad is um, placed. That's why I, I told you to get get or make it more fluid because you really don't want any um, line that is not looking solid. All right, like that. And here. All right, here as well. So we're just doing shadows guys this is shadowing shadowing <laughs> okay i'm gonna water it because it dries pretty quick all right i'm gonna extend the black part here Just gonna extend that. Okay. okay. Get more black paints. Okay, like that. Get more black. Just apply more black. All right. Also here. Now we're going inside the leaf. This makes some um, black um, markings here. I went inside the leaf instead of going around the leaf. Okay. Here, I forgot to extend this one. All right, like that. Okay, that's nice. Okay, it's gonna be like that for now. Oh, sorry, more black now. More black, guys, here. All right, here as well. So I'm just gonna make some black markings somewhere here and it will make sense later. Okay, that's nice. I'm gonna get my black, create some more detailing like ripples and all that. Actually, this part that I'm doing we can do this later but since I have my black paint already I might as well do it because well number one it's uh, time saving to be doing something that you can actually do right away and number two uh, we don't waste paints right okay so do this uh it's more of a reflection okay i'm gonna water it down because it's not too black okay like that <laughs> okay 
Wash your brush out now. Okay, I'm gonna get my burnt sienna in black. Burnt sienna, guys. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of yellow to that. And black. Like that. And I'm just gonna make some hmm, markings. Okay, I'm gonna add some more black and brown like around the leaf guys around the leaf but inside it so it's more of a natural color okay again just keep doing it I'm gonna make some markings on the leaf like this like those natural um, spots on the leaf okay mm, all right i'm gonna add some black color or So make some natural markings on the leaf, guys. It's up to you how you do it. Um, this is just a mere suggestion of how to make some of that markings. You can even go yellow like that here. So you can observe now that will be using yellow, browns to suggest some natural um, colors of the leaf. I'm gonna get my yellow and I'm gonna spread some yellowness <laughs> here, like that, to make it more natural, guys. I don't mind if we spend like two hours here uh, I just want to to do this um, without really rushing rushing you, even myself. So let's do our best um, because you know it's been two days since the last time I did a tutorial. So I just want to make sure that you really learn again this time and myself as well. So I'm just playing with brown and browns and yellows and blacks. All right, I'm gonna get my yellows. I'm using my my hand actually to blend it um, because I think it gives more natural appeal to it. Hey, just keep doing that. I'm gonna get my yellow green oxide plus green. Until I'm happy, guys. All right, just keep doing this. Um, technique for you to be able to get that natural effect it's quite um, I have no definite way of telling you how to do this but if you watch me do it you can actually tell that I'm using my water a lot and also blending using my hand okay I'm gonna get my white, guys. White plus yellow. All 
Alright. Like that. So here, I'm just making some detailing. Okay, so I'm gonna get more white color So I'm just going to apply it here. Okay. I'm gonna make some subtle line like that to suggest some uh, veins in the leaf. And I'm gonna get my brown and black color. Okay, and then my black color. So we're still doing some shadows, like that. Those are shadows. Okay, wash your brush out. Oh, actually, you don't need to wash your brush out. Just continue, guys. I haven't done the shadow for this part. Okay, like that. Here as well. well okay wow it's just what oh that looks nice <laughs> actually that looks nice that's amazing okay so we're gonna do more detailing guys you need to be more patient here just like me I need to be patient I'm gonna add some brown markings here and there you can do this randomly guys you don't have to think about it just do it <laughs> just do it guys okay all right like that all right like that Right, so now I'm going to get my brown or burnt sienna mixed with yellow. 
in white. Like this color, again, burnt sienna. And I'm just gonna apply in here just to make some, you know that uh, part of the leaf that is dry? Yeah? So I'm just gonna make that. And I'm gonna make some brown markings here. Actually, guys, it is more technical than just any, than anything else. Um, maybe to some of you, it's not really technical because maybe you are you already know this. You already know how to do it, even without me saying it. But um, yeah, that's there are a lot of blending there are a lot of um, unexplainable way of doing things so i'm gonna make some markings leave like natural markings you can actually use your palette knife that's how um inexplainable it is <laughs> you can use your palette knife to do this if you have full control of your palette knife. All right. Again, I'm going to get my black. Like that. All right. So I'm just um, glazing it with black because I don't want the harsh lines of the black that we did for the shadows kind of disturbs me. <laughs> so I'm just adding some black glaze along those black lines so that it looks more like uh, natural and it doesn't look like cartoon. All right, like that. So, yeah, as I was telling you guys, I'm just glazing some black uh, paints around the black lines for shadows because it's my personal choice. I don't want any hard lines surrounding the leaf. It just doesn't look good, you know. I'm going to get my black and I'm going to extend it this Okay, wash your brush out. Now I'm gonna get my yellow and I'm gonna water it down and apply it here, up here. Yellow, guys. Mm, like that. Can apply some yellowness. Okay, I'm gonna get my green oxide. Go back. Okay, green oxide, guys. I think I already ran out of it. All right. I'm just gonna get my green oxide. 
apply it here. I'm going to get my white mixed with green oxide to apply to the edge of this leaf like that. Okay, green oxide still. And I'm doing this um, strokes to suggest natural, uh, it's like the natural appearance of the leaf. Here as well. So there will be hints of yellow, there will be hints of brown on the leaves. Uh, they're the combination of those colors again to suggest natural um natural leaf colors here we'll just keep going back keep going back and yeah just apply and apply reapply layer layer after layer This, may, this might take me longer time than usual, but I don't mind. I don't mind because I really want this done. Um, I really want to be happy with this painting. So just keep doing that. So later we'll be using some sap green or ivy, ivy green. For now, leave it like that. Okay. Get your yellow again and brown. You go back. You go up. I mean, up on the canvas. Some brown, brownie color. Mm, like that. All right. Mm -hmm. Actually, we can leave it this way for now. We can leave it this way for now. Um, we'll, we'll do the flower next okay like that. this is nice yeah this is nice actually I'm gonna glaze it with white guys okay I'm gonna glaze it with white but be uh, not too much guys not too much we don't want this to be <laughs> super white only certain areas will be glazed with white to suggest a light i'm using just titanium white for glazing no special chemical whatsoever guys not even you know some people um, suggest pearl white but that's transparent white and quite shiny I don't like it at all so I'm just glazing it with white here and there to suggest light mm. 
so just like, like that. Alright. Okay. Okay, let's do the flower now. Oh, wait guys. I'm gonna get my cerulean blue. I'm just gonna apply some suggestion of like water. This is just cerulean, guys. Cerulean blue. Like that. Okay. Wash your brush out. Okay, let's do the flower now. I think the flower is quite the hard part, but don't be discouraged because. Um, we're gonna we're gonna make it easy I'm gonna get my red now where's my red I'm just gonna get my red so get your red guys okay and I'm gonna get some white all right white tiny bit of red like this color it's really like pink almost white like this color and yes let's start doing this one So it's not really, it's not really difficult if you follow this one. It's not guys, it's not, I mean, okay, all right, now I'm going to get my pure red mixed with whatever is left on my paintbrush just to make some dark pink. gonna get my white again mixed with the red color and we're gonna close that okay. just close it and then we'll do the detailing later that <laughs> okay 
Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get now, okay, wash your brush out for a while. I'm just gonna get my red and mix it with burnt sienna to make some dark version of the red or the pink. And for us to be able to make some, okay, I'm gonna add more burnt sienna to it because I'm not getting the right darkness. <laughs> okay, I might add a tiny bit of black because it's not, okay, like that. Yeah, okay, yeah, like it. I'm gonna use this to separate each petal but water it down guys because we don't want any hard lines forming here So. Okay, get your black. And then do some stem. The stem of the, the flower. And I'm going to extend the shadow because I missed that. brush out get pure white guys pure white go up and make some highlights just pure white We're still recording? Yes, we are. <laughs> All right, so just gonna get my pure white. And highlight the tip of the flower. If you notice it, I'm only highlighting the tip of the flower or the edge of the petals, just like that. Here I'm going inside, like that. Okay. Also here. Like that. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna get still pure white and make some tiny dots tiny dots and markings to suggest some uh, highlighted areas of the leaf
get y. Okay, more white here. Okay, now that we're done with the flowers, I mean with the flower, of course it doesn't, it should not look like that because we're gonna redo the flower, this time only upside down, okay? So I'm gonna get my light pink color, the one that we already used for the, for the flower. Mm. Maybe I'm gonna add some brownie color, brown color to that. We're just gonna do the reflections now. Okay, so I'm gonna get my burnt sienna plus red, tiny bit of white. So I'm gonna get my red, my red this time. Okay, I'm gonna get my black and mix it. Mix it with black. But the pink should still, you know, be seen. And then I'm gonna go up with the dark pink. I mean, not go up, but go down. Okay, more black and brown and red. Okay, more black. It's not really... Black. All right, wash your brush out. Get the light pink color, guys. Here, and just cover the whole thing. The remaining unpainted parts. So I'm just covering it. All right. Okay. We're gonna go back to it later. You can get your pure white now. And while the pink's still wet, you can apply the white color. because it's reflecting what's above it. So if it's highlighted here, down here it should also be highlighted. As you already know, it's, uh, 
the science of reflection. Okay, I'm gonna get more pink color. Now I'm going to add some brownie color, brown and red. Okay, maybe a little bit of black. And then get back to black. I think um, the most challenging part for this painting, the flowers and um, the reflection, the reflection, I mean the flower and the reflection, but it looks nice. I like it. I really like it. So we're going to go on now and continue with this. We're not going to give up on this, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna get my. Um, if you have IV, if you have sap green, get your sap. I'm just gonna get a color very close to sap because I don't have sap anymore. I have IV green, but it's really similar to sap, so I don't mind. So I'm just gonna get my um, IV green, and I'm just gonna glaze some areas that I want to be quite uh, like young green, you know? Young green, yeah. There is such a young green, <laughs> according to Chet. Oh, sorry. All right, like that. And I'm gonna apply the young green here. <laughs> So I'm just applying it where I, okay, I'm just applying it randomly and very gently as well because I kind of, um, as, as natural as possible guys. Okay, I'm just gonna get my black now, just black, because I forgot to separate the leaf and the flower. Okay, like that. Mm. All right, I'm gonna add some cerulean blue and black. Like that. So it's gonna be some waters mm. all right 
gonna get my black again just some oh, sorry <laughs> some dots like markings on our plants Alright. I'm gonna get my burnt sienna in black. Oops, burnt sienna in black. Just reapplying it and adding more details on our um, lily pads because more details more natural I'm gonna get my cat yellow. Can you see it? Yeah. I'm gonna get my cat yellow here and go back here. I just keep on coming back to some areas, guys. Okay, I'm gonna get my white and I'm not really washing my brush. I'm just, uh, getting the paints that I want. All right. I'm gonna do more shadowing because I'm just gonna do a lot more shadowing. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay, wash your brush out. Get your black and green oxide, like this color. You can add more black as may be necessary, but I'm just gonna color, okay, it's too dark. Just gonna water it down and allow the leaf to be still seen while doing some shadows. We're just creating some shadows. Okay, like that. And again, and get some black. some more markings I'm gonna get more black for shadow like that and I'm gonna darken the bottom part of the flower because it's not being it's not well lit you know you know um, so it should be a little darker all right then Okay, I'm gonna get my black, just pure black guys, and water it down and make some glazing down here to suggest that the flower that is inverted is a mere reflection and not another flower under the pond. Um, I hope that makes sense guys. So I'm just glazing it with black again to suggest that it's a reflection and not a flower 
it's an image more than anything else all right I'm gonna get my gray color so black and white okay I'm just gonna go around the line that separates um, the flower and the leaves like that and I'm just gonna go inside some reflections to be more uh, realistic mm -hmm. like you can even go here inside the water reflections can go like that and here okay here just to finish this Just go around um, those reflections in the water. All right. All right. Wash your brush out. Okay. So I'm gonna get my white color and start glazing it here. Again, to suggest some light and also here. Here as well and here. Here as well. Gosh, this is nice. This is nice. <laughs> okay. Now, um, this is just for my uh, personal uh, preference. But anyway, before that, I'm going to get my burnt sienna plus red. And let's redefine the flower. So I think I lost the shape. As I was saying, I'm going to use my palette knife for this painting. Where's my palette knife? Okay. I'm just going to use my palette knife for this painting. Again, this is just for personal preference. You don't have to do this. I'm going to get my green oxide. And I don't even know if it's going to work, but I feel like it should work. <laughs> get my green oxide. Maybe mix it with a tiny bit of yellow. Just like that. And I'm just going to go and apply those um, mixture with my, my leaves here and there. Okay. I'm even mixing um, white paints. Like you can see the white markings in there. But I kind of like the... Uh, the uh, the texture that it's giving my painting it's more like natural you can even mix brown so that it's more natural Okay. 
This is more yellowy. You really like it. You can add white to the green mixture. Just for um, texture, guys. Just texture. Okay, down here, you can add more brownie yellowy color. Here. Like that. So I really like the effect of the palette knife. It made, it made my leaf more natural. Some yellow. Okay. okay, I'm gonna get my white. I'm gonna get my white guys because I kinda like the combination of yellow and white. That's actually way better than just, you know, um, not doing it. Kind of gave my painting some sort of uh, realistic approach. I like it. I really like it. Okay, now you can get your regular brush. We're actually, we're almost finished now. Okay, just gonna apply, just to smoothen out some areas.
that. Okay, get your black. We're almost done, guys. Almost. And just redefine the shadows. Because I think we lost it because of glazing. Okay, I'm gonna get my white. And I'm just gonna go um, in the middle part of those petals, the, the reflection of the petals. All right, just to be consistent with what is being reflected. Okay. Like that. And I'm gonna use the white mixture just to go again over those areas. In the waters. It's nice. This is so nice. Right? It's pretty. <laughs> it's nice. Oh my gosh. All right. So I'm going to sign it now. I'm going to use my yellow since I have a lot of yellow in here. Gosh. Um, I'm just going to sign. Oops. All right, we're done. This is nice. So nice, gosh. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed our tutorial for today. I enjoyed it so much because this is so, um, this is so my, my subject. This is one of my favorite subjects. I just love nature. I love Monet, I love France. I love his paintings. Yes. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. Guys. 